Okay, brethren, so uh, we got, we're going to do this Wi-Fi side thing, uh, you know, to share with the steak. And, and so... Yeah, what's our plan? That's a good question. Um, I don't know, anybody have any ideas of what we could do or... I'm just so bored. Yeah. This whole thing, this whole COVID <laughs> thing, is just, I'm so bored. Yeah. I, I get that. I used to play all day as a kid. Be out at sunrise, back at sunset. Do you remember the spot? Oh, no. <laughs> like where you go hang out with your friends? I haven't you, thought about the spot in forever. Do you guys remember the spot? You know what we should do? We haven't been there since we were like 16. You want to go? We should go to the spot. We should go. Let's go. Let's go right now. Let's go. Evan! Evan! Uh, hi, Mrs. Dr. Is Evan home? Can he play? Hi, Chad. It's so good to see you. Let me check. Evan, you're coming! Oh, I'll be back. Let's go to the spa. Alright, let's go. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. Heck yeah! Hey! Don't what? forget your helmet! Uh -huh. Love you. Love you. Bye. Have fun! Thanks! <laughs> Go back to 16, 15, 16 years old, 15 before you could drive, uh -huh. and change one thing between then and now. What would it be? One thing I could have changed between then and now, when I was 15 years old, or after, 15 or after. Do you know? I would have waited to have more serious relationships until after my mission. I didn't have any. Same. Single game. <laughs> Not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say mine was choice. Probably the one thing I, I would actually have done a little bit different was been a little nicer when I got divorced. I probably wasn't the best person <laughs> in the world. I was probably, well, I know I was. I was, I was, I was looking for a fight, right? Because that's the easiest way to get out of those situations is to just fight. And I could have been a lot better at uh, being a better friend and just living with the truth, you know. So that would probably be what I change. How about you, Evan? I mean, it was only last year, but last well, year I was going to ask if there was something you wish you knew before your mission, but uh, something I knew before my mission. Um, that one of the biggest things that I feel like would have helped me, or is just 
understand how different people are and how we can always learn from all the people that we meet. So just like sticking with just my small group of friends. There's so many amazing people that I could have met before that you know, I'm having the opportunity to meet now. So that's, that's the big one for sure. I think mine would be uh, struggle is the evidence of progression. That's a good one. If you're struggling, you're doing it right. A lot of people think when they struggle, they're failing. But really, you're just you're moving in the right direction. So one question, I know this is going to be a little more serious, but one question I wanted to ask you, brethren, here is, uh, you know, recently they've had the hear him. I'd be curious to hear, and I know we're, you know, in this beautiful setting. How do you hear the Lord? I hear him through my kids. I mean, my dad reaction is to get angry at them when, when they're not listening. <laughs> Dabo! <laughs> but they're so humble. And like, even when I'm real angry with them, even unjustly, they still like, they look at me with their eyes and like, Dad, do you still love me? And I'm like, oh man. <laughs> so I, I hear them through my kids. How they, uh, they love me no matter what. I, I just got done taking the um, temple prep class again, and uh, I think uh, it, the one way I hear him the most that I think is underestimated a lot is by signs, symbols, like, you know, like, uh, there's certain scriptures that also that I hear that I know, like, I, I can tell her this is my scripture, I, I've done it a lot, this Malachi you know, the, the last scripture in the Old Testament. I have this whole big story around it. Like right after I got baptized, the first thing that went on a conference was one of the one of the first presents he got up and starts quoting Malachi, and I'm like, I better listen. Right? Um, but signs, symbols, um, things that you see. Um, I know when certain numbers pop up, I'm like, oh, I should be listening because something's trying to get my attention. Um, but, you know, my theory is it's raining all the time. He's just... He's always speaking. He's always talking. We're either tuned in or we're not. You know, he's, he's always communicating with us. Um, so you, you have to pay attention to everything all the time, it seems like. Not that we're any, anybody's even capable of that, but as much as you can. The more you, the more you stay in tune with that, the more you hear and the more you see. You know, that's really good that you're talking about symbols. Like, the Lord just speaks in symbols all throughout the scriptures. And that's the, the main, one of the big ways that I him is just having my daily scripture study. I always start with prayer and ask questions that I have or um, just always ponder what is going on in my life because I read the Spirit um, makes things stand out to me more than others and I notice those and I always try to take note of them so I can act on them throughout my day. Yeah, that he's always trying to talk to us. Um, there's always something happening and uh, you know like you said Brother Wright about uh, through prayer uh, I find that when I try to pray like we're admonished to pray always right and um, so I've heard him in nature um, there was a time I was I wasn't quite sure how the Lord felt about me and um, I remember I was driving it was right before I went to the temple as a, as a young man and um, I was driving uh, through Dallas, Texas, and I looked up and I just had this sudden realization that even though the sky is cloudy, the sun still shines through it. And it was just this incredible feeling of acceptance from the Lord. And that sometimes, even though I may not feel right next to Him, I may not feel like I'm, uh, you know, I'm perfect. Uh, that the sun still shines, that Heavenly Father's love still reaches us, still reaches me, still reaches me. Uh, you know, I, I feel it uh, in the scriptures. Uh, I love Elder Bednar recently just said, you know, that uh, the scriptures are like a recording of God's voice. You can go back and listen to him speak. But probably uh, when I pray and in moments of peace, uh, which has been what's so cool about this, this uh, kind of, slow down with the coronavirus has been I've had more time to just sit and reflect and uh, that's something I haven't always had so that's that's been a great way for me to be able to hear uh, Heavenly Father in my life. Uh, 
Howdy, man. Matt. What? What's your spirit animal? Oh. Oh, chubby penguin, because I'm always chill. <laughs> <laughs> you got to explain what a spirit animal is. No, you don't. Everybody knows what it is. A spirit animal? Mine's a donut. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Evan? What's your spirit animal? Walking stick. Yeah, I make a good walking stick. I've been skinny a long time. I'm I used good to be at skinny. It. That's what I hear. <laughs> I don't know. Mine's mine's boring. I don't know. It'd be like 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 an otter Definitely with an the otter. head of a lion, maybe. No, you're a narwhal. A narwhal. That's yeah. my spirit animal right there. For sure. For sure. <laughs> For their magical powers. <laughs> <laughs>